Yo everyone, your boy here today, and I'm back at it again with another video, and once again, we're going to be talking about the FPS Dominator um, Collective Minds Strike Pack thingy, and as m it may seem I'm trying to juice views off of, you know, talking about this topic, because they're very, it is slowly growing to one of my most viewed videos, but this is actually a very important update, and I'd like to make sure you guys know everything you can before you purchase this product, if you're, or if you're even thinking about it. So pretty much everything that stands from my last video except for a few changes, um, which I'm going to go over everything again. Um, this product I feel is very, it's definitely a really good, so far, is a really good substitute for a scuff. Now, it works just like a, it, like the paddles work very, very well. Um, I haven't had any problems with the paddles at all yet. Um, Paddles never, like, you they, you never push the button and have a miss. Also, they're magnetic like this, so they just, you can pop them right off. They they, they aren't going to break um, like the other ones. They, we can get it back in. Um, they they don't seem like they're getting any looser than they were before. Like, they still seem like they're the same as they were before. Um, the thing, I never really take this off. Um, the cord is still hard, a little bit difficult to plug in. Um, you have to be very, very, very careful when plugging it in because of, if not, the cord will, the, the tip of the thing will break in here. Um, so be very, very careful with that cord when pushing it in and pulling it out. Those are the two main points that I have to definitely make sure everyone who was thinking about buying this product knows. Those things are super, super, super important because if not, you're going to have to go buy a replacement cord or even worse, another one. Um, then they do have a lifetime warranty though. That's actually a really good thing about this product is they do come with a lifetime warranty so you can bring that you can return this and just get a brand new one I promise you will have to wait for everything um to process to bring you another one so i think um after i get my christmas bonus and you know um my taxes back and stuff like that i might end up just because you know i have a lot of extra spare money then um i might actually go purchase another one of these as a backup or even swap this one out and keep this one as a backup because of there's one issue I've been running into. More recently, um, it's happened about six or seven times now. I want to say, randomly during play, it, my controller disconnects. It's a really weird. It, it's I don't understand it because of the controller will still be on, but it'll disconnect, and then I unplug it, and it turns off. And I have to plug it back in, and. It has caused me to lose rounds before in playing when playing matches, and it's happened about six or seven times. I have the control for that two months, and it's happened in the last three weeks, the six or seven times. So it happens like once every like two or three days, but it's like I have a fear it's gonna get worse. But I've had that fear since it started, and it hasn't been getting worse. So I don't know if it's. It might just be from the way I have my wire set up. It might be like I pull on it a little bit too much, or I get the wire in a bad angle. The you know the wire is just bending in a certain spot, so the wire is tearing inside. So it seems like almost every problem I've had with this thing is not with the the attachment itself. It's mostly with the cord. Um, so um, if you do buy this, I'd recommend either buying backups or finding a place where you can get the cords. I don't know if they sell the cords separately, so you can just buy replacement uh, USB cords. If so, definitely 100% buy extra one of those because of that's that's from what I understand. I think that's the actual issue with this control with this thing, and it's not even a bad issue. It happens once or twice every couple of days. Um, usually, usually once every three or four days. I, I want to say, um, but I honestly think it's a great product. It works fine. The paddles never miss. Like I never like. I never push it and it doesn't activate the button. Um, you have to read the directions. I haven't virtu still haven't ventured into mods. So if any of you guys watching this video and asking about mods, I st I like I I'm not I'm not using mods. So like I can't help with any of the mod questions you guys have. Um, I mean that's much of the guy for you. Like I can't help with the mods. Like I don't use mods. I haven't used the mods. I've had the thing since it, since the release day. It, I was one of the first customers to receive this product. I pre-ordered it, and I had it pre-ordered through all of the delays and all the pushbacks they had for this product, which was over a month in pushbacks. Um, I've had it since release day, and it's, it's honestly a really I like the product. It's it's very nice. Um, it's definitely a good a good 
alternative to a scuff. It's like for you guys who can't afford a scuff, or even a backup for a scuff. If you have a scuff and you know your paddles break pretty often, um, if you have a scuff, you probably have encountered this problem before. Your your paddles breaking or um, or one of your 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 one of your paddles stop working or something. Um, that's a really common issue with the scuffs after long use for long, especially for people who are hard on their controllers who um do that you you will notice that when you get it your your paddles will be very tense like now i can like now they they push forward a lot they they push forward a lot but that's due to the magnets um the magnet uh parts getting loose but it, they won't come off like they they're pretty sturdy all I, I mean, if i wanted to tighten it back up i'll just squeeze the metal things around the outside this part this little metal ring it's from that getting looser but it's not a problem yet so hope you guys really did enjoy it. if you guys like this product i definitely would give it probably about 8.5 to 10 just due to the connection issues and i if you guys have any more questions or want another update i'll make sure to give another update probably in i want to say four months now i'll give another update about this if it's still working or if something starts to go really wrong with it um i'll make another update video but i definitely recommend this product especially for people who don't want to look to spend two hundred and eighteen dollars when I'm if I customize my own scuff or I am personally a huge fan of the Crim Six scuff. I love his his scuff is so nice, by far the nicest scuff out there. Um, and you don't want to spend two hundred eighteen dollars on a scuff, which when I customize the Crim Six one, it comes out to be like two hundred six or two hundred eighteen or something like that dollars because of I like I'm picky, you know. Like I want I want the the good grip on the back of mine. Um, I definitely need the two paddles, um, and I don't like the disc pad, the disc D pad. That's or that's disgusting. Um, I hate that thing; it looks ugly. But either way, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on scuff, this right here for forty dollars, wonderful alternate. You can literally, you can buy. Let's see, one, two, three. How many times? You can buy five of these, and have it cost as much as a scuff. You can literally replace this five times, and it will still be less than a scuff. So, I highly recommend it. Thank you all for watching. Your boy Center, Silent Live, YouTube, we'll catch you later.